Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a very special project. It's by Pat. She's been here a few times and she does an, an embroidered Noah's Ark theme and then squares them all up and then puts beautiful borders around and these are usually for her grandchildren. Isn't it lovely? Each one of these blocks is embroidered with an embroidery machine and it's got, you know, it's got Joseph and it's got like the two sheeps, two chickens, two ducks and two cats and two dogs and two zebras and lambs and flamingos. You name it, it's, it's pretty much on here. And it's a lot of detail goes into each one of these embroidery stitch outs. Some of them take uh, up in words of like two to three hours to stitch out correctly. And of course you got to thread change every single one. So that even that in itself is very time consuming. So, uh, but it does do some beautiful work. Oh my goodness. And then each one of these blocks is kind of like a half square triangle, little pattern going on with the green and the blue. And I just love it. So what she had asked for here, because we don't want to stitch through any of the embroidery, we're just going to do a little loop meander just around. And I'm just going to kind of I'm, I'm not going to come through them, but I need to come into the white a little bit and she's okay because she, she wants the blue thread. So it's just going to pop a little bit of blue in here, uh, but still be able to surround each beautiful image. So yeah, they got little chicken ducks and, you know, a little rhino and a monkey and butterflies and all sorts of beautiful, beautiful pieces here. So, uh, and a lovely piece backing. It's got a nice little border piece in the center and I've tried to center it as much as I can uh, via that. And 80-20 batting is what we have going on. So I'm just going to, pick a spot because I'm starting this project so I'm going to come up here pretty much in the high point and because I'm going to be able to work my way around let's see how far I can go actually before I can I don't want to I don't want to bump the the bell the 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 roller so you know just to come down just under this block okay so that's pretty much what I'll try and do today okay. well not today but right now for the show but this is a lovely start to a very fun project and it's off the belts. It's just, I have it as 12 stitches per inch. I am the one who's controlling about where this is going and how this is happening. So, okay. And uh, just a little loose. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Just getting it done and looking nice in the process. Doesn't have to be too close, not too far away. We're just trying to be as consistent as possible. Don't forget to move, slow steps. You know you gotta get there. You just slow it down. Sorry, I probably go a little too fast, but I'm on the mission. <laughs> See, it's not come into the project. We're just going to kind of highlight it a little bit by coming in with those pretty little threads. But we're not going to stitch right through it. There we go. See, that thing, that's beautiful. Progress out here in the beautiful. Looks like a, like a nebular solar system. I love it. Just beautiful green fabric. Oh my gosh. I'm like, where did you get this? I want some. <laughs> Again, not going through the embroidery, just trying to highlight around it. Progress back up. It's 
side. Leave space for the outside edge for um, binding. You don't want to be cutting off your stitches by the binding. So you want to try and keep it all within the space of the quilt. You think to come in a half an inch or an inch. It still almost would give a little bit of a puffy frame as well before you get to the binding part. So that's up to you. And it doesn't take very long with this sort of little stitch out to be able to uh, finish the project. You know, so we've got that little free free meandering part. Because we do want the embroidery to be the highlight of this quilt, right? Like, that's what I, I would think. It's a very special meaning for her and her family, so I love that. I love the beautiful thread. This adds a lot of depth and texture going on in the background for sure. incorporate it so it doesn't look like there's a start or a stop to the meandering, right? You want to be sort of, it's all over the place. Cute little foxes over here, they're very cute. Oops. Oops, I, Ooh, I don't know why in there. All right, okay. Oh, 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 I think we broke thread anyways. That's okay. All right, we fix, we fix, no problem, we fix. All right. So that is going to be the beautifulness that goes on on this stunning little baby quilt. So I will be finishing that up. Shouldn't take too much longer. After a good oiling, clearly. Let's pull the uh, bobbin thread up just so we can give a nice fresh start when we start again. There we go. Okay, so yes, a beautiful Noah's Ark. Love the characters, love what's going on with it. Uh, I do enjoy the color that she chose. Uh, it was a white or this, and uh, we liked how it really blended in the blues in the um, outer galaxy sort of fabric, and then just kind of gave a little pop around uh, the Noah's Ark character. So it is a beautiful, love the, love the monkeys, got a little heart heart shape with the tail for the monkeys here. I'll move that out of the way so you might be able to see that. Isn't that cute? And of course this one with her all on the boat. Love that. Love that. There's a few of them like that. They're super, super cute. So thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. And uh, don't forget to watch the um, live stream on Saturday where we're working on the third week of our prism quilt where we're giving it away to one of our very special fans. So, but you have to play the game to win as they say. <laughs> and then of course, uh, we're gonna start just a little, we're gonna have a little side project before we do our Halloween project. So uh, this weekend coming up is I'm, I'm working on something for a, um, for a streamer, a streamer friend. There we go, okay. So see you soon and uh, have yourself a fantastic Wednesday. All right, enjoy everybody, be good.